All right, guys. Um, I apologize if my background was a little messy. Let's let's go this way. All right, so I'm headed over to have another garage day with my name is Jeff, and uh, maybe today we're building bumpers. I'm not quite sure. You guys just gotta stay tuned. Gotta wait and see, cause I don't even know what's happening today. But uh, hopefully it's eventful, and by eventful I mean um, productive and not just run into into every obstacle and barrier ever but stay tuned guys it is uh bumper day and uh we got the ram pulled up so first things first you got to get this one off because you have to build the new bumper on the truck itself so uh yeah we're gonna get to work all right guys so as you can see step one is obviously removing the old bumper uh so if you have a 94 to 01 ram is that the, something like that yeah something like that uh you have a couple brackets that connects the bumper to the frame and then you'll have some bolts that go underneath at the bottom because jeff and i thought we can unbolt just the brackets and we we're good to go but you also have some here at the bottom so make note of that three in the frame horn three in the frame horn as the man says all right guys so step one we got this off here and we'll continue to Go through the process and update you guys along the way. So to kind of make your job a little easier, um, air tools, a lot way easier. Um, you could definitely do it with the battery power um, wrench, or even just hand socket. But uh, air makes it way quicker. And make sure that you have a ton of jack stands so step one it looks like Jeff has the new brackets this way I think let's see this way on the outside yeah I think it's on the outside the new old bumper was on the inside these are cut for the frame body mount line up like so. Alright, so if you guys can see, the old bumper actually mounted on the inside. The aftermarket move brackets mount appear to mount on the outside. Don't recommend the swivel, but it's handy for right now. My head in the way? Nope. All right, that's looking pretty solid on there. So that's initial. Fit on there. It's pretty solid. Uh, so make note that if you have this RAM, the body style 94 to early 2000s, that the new bumper act, the new bumper brackets mount on the outside of the frame. The factory ones mounted on the inside. These go on the outside. We're going back to the first side because Jeff realized going to the second side that we did not have it mounted correctly. So, this is all we're making this video to help others out. Oh, go the right way. Alright. Alright Jeff, I noticed we got a little bit of a gap back there. Is that okay? Or? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna get a level out. Make sure we're level all that stuff in relation to the truck it's our bumper and crooked as we put it together you can do this with simple hand tools obviously air tools will make it easier you're going to need some uh jacks and now we're going to add a level to the list so you don't want to get this thing all together and realize it's cottywampus so you don't want to just measure and wing it and hope for the best and then when it's all said and done you have a crooked bumper so we're gonna add 
a level to the materials that you're going to need. Maybe a longer one. Alright guys, we were improvising a little bit because our level is not quite long enough, so Jeff has found a yardstick. Truck's a little bit off. A little bit off. And everybody, let's just make a note that we are on a driveway that's not perfectly flat yeah. or even, so it'd be completely different if we were all the way in the garage. Actually, fairly close. Okay. Hope you guys can see that, that that's picking up pretty well. Yep. I mean, given what we're working with on a slight incline and whatnot. So, Jeff, right now, what are you measuring? Just something as a reference to see if we're anywhere near the same spots in relation to the truck. Close enough to get an, an idea when you start maybe fitting. Okay. And adjusting accordingly as we put more pieces on. <clears throat> All right, guys. So just to make sure your measurements, make sure your your level, make sure everything's even. Level both directions. From side to side. Now we're both low or high in the front. But I think this driveway is going uphill. Yep, but we are. Both about the same on both sides. Yep, so as you guys see, they're about the same, and like Jeff said, right now, as you can tell, we're out in the driveway right now, and I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but we're starting to come in at the incline, right where the garage breaks right there and starts coming up to, or where the driveway starts to come up to go, come into the garage, so, um, we're pretty damn, pretty damn good, given, uh... I think so, that's why I measured up to the bolts, it should be the same on each side, these are the hood stops. So that should be the same um, to keep the body aligned. So that would be a good reference point. Or even fender bolts would be a good reference I just went there. But just to make sure that they weren't way down or way out. That's why I just kind of gave it a quick measure. We're pretty close. So let's start fitting more pieces. All right. Keep measuring all the way through. Also, if you're going to be doing this, probably the most important piece of equipment you're going to need is... Uh, a welder. So, yeah, you, this doesn't work for you unless you have the Boton series. So you're going to need a welder to get this thing, in, you know, together. <laughs> and make sure, people, that you have all the proper safety equipment, okay? Gloves, maybe an apron, the eyewear. Be safe, folks. Another welding jacket smart. It's probably going to be laying underneath it. You want all the hot metal raining down on you. There you go. You heard it from Jeff. Get you a what is, a leather, a welding leather jacket. Okay, people? Or the green one with the leather sleeves like I got here somewhere. Right there, laying on the ground. You can tell Jeff takes such great care of it. Man, well, <laughs> moving everything around, I got rid of the cabinet they were on. And this, got the leather sleeves, good for reaching in, laying on any stuff. This one's not leather, much cooler. But it'll burn through if you got that hot welder sack laying, landing on you. It's good for s stuff popping off when you're standing there and it's falling to the floor, but not landing on you. So that'd be good welding on the table. This would be good for welding underneath the truck, and I gotta reach my arm in there. All right, guys. Safety first, no matter what. I do apologize. I just keep adding to the materials needed list, but. Um, we're figuring this out as we go. So we've now added a ratchet strap to kind of help hold the bumper in place along with jack stands. So um, a tape measure is also going to be nice and uh, something to write with. So what are you going to measure now, Jeff? I got to get this thing centered, leveled. Let's grab a level. Because it's crooked right now. You can see it already. Nine. 
Don't have time, you know, just start doing fractions and decimals and conversions, so uh, F that. Jacket is on. Proper attire. Proper attire. I'm gonna look away. Cause I value my sight. All right, so two tacks. See there and there. All right, so now that we have a tackle welded, jack stands can be removed along with the ratchet strap. And you can kind of see that this is starting to look like a bumper. See if the hood closes. That's where it lands with the bumper. All right. Good. Holy shit. That looks good. Look at the gap. That's a pretty good gap there. So the bumper was a little low after being tacked. So Jeff came in and he adjusted the brackets to the side there and another thing to kind of note uh jeff tested so i'll close it again oh i feel like i'm an old lady and this is the wheel on the press is right so jeff just tested to make sure that after popping the hood that he could reach the hood really so you guys saw that it's pretty uh it's a pretty good fit there so we'll go in pop maybe we'll pop there we go. Your turns to the side instead of going out. Yeah. What do we got? Plenty of room. Uh, As you guys can see, yeah, there's plenty of room. Get the release. All right, so just little things to think about along the way um, as you build your bumper at home. Uh, Jeff and I, we've been joking calling these the IKEA bumpers because they give you minimal direction. They give you <laughs> yeah. some pictures and you gotta hope for the best there. So. We're doing this video hoping that it helps everyone else because no one's helping us. Yeah. So I've got the right side here. Let's see how this goes. And it should just go like so. More underneath the headlight. Not looking too bad. Fits pretty good. I guess we'll clamp it and tack it. Just for the record, guys, this is probably be so much easier if you have a friend with you and one who's not holding the camera. <laughs> yeah, one that's worthwhile. <laughs> Look, I never claim to be handy. I'm just a You're great. You're just good looking. I'm good looking and I'm a cheerleader. You see? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm an old man. I can't even do these toe touches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got the right side of the bumper. Mm -hmm clamped and just for the record I, I clamped this I was a little I was a little helpful <laughs> a, little. a little I didn't say I was a lot of helpful I'm a little helpful this is looking like a bumper now looking pretty cool where's that tape kick that over here it's ah. looking pretty good let's just double check not bad All right, guys, so please make sure every step of the way, measure, measure, measure. Yeah. All right, guys, so one of the most terrifying sounds to me ever is a taser and the <laughs> welder is like a taser on steroids so i just look away and hope everything goes well so yep that's my claim to fame so if anything happens to jeff you guys will be able to witness it because i just point the camera and turn away great so if i'm on fire you're not gonna warn me huh that's that's yeah that's kind of how that that's works happened before when you get the fringe on the pants shit's raining down catches that your legs on fire you got the hood down you can't see nothing because it's dark. 
you're on fire. You don't even realize it. Man, it's getting fucking hot in here. Why is that? <laughs> oh, it's 30 degrees. Damn, I'm on fire! Yeah, that happens. Wow. See, that that's another Been reason. That road. Another reason I'm not handy. It sounds dangerous. I'll give you a little snippet of what it looks like with the hood closed. Caps just look great. Yeah, this looks good. The other side is welded on. I didn't bother showing you because it's the same process as the first side. But man, this thing looks good. And it's already like just changed the look of the truck altogether. Um, man, I'm excited. Like this is this is pretty dope. Um, and I highly recommend, you know, going with the 30 inch light bar. Cause this thing just, oh, when this is complete, this is just gonna look so awesome. And Jeff is putting on the end cap, the end cap there. It's looking awesome. I think if I just hold this attack. All right guys, it looks like I might die. Oh, I thought I needed to hold it. No, I'll hold it. Oh, look. You just do your thing, hold the camera, and look good. <laughs> Shake that booty once in a while. Shake Keep that ass. Motivated. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, my nickname, Jeff gave me a nickname, is Side Piece. I didn't, I didn't get that just for no reason, okay? <laughs> the wife is okay with it, too, which is funny. I am amazed at like how well this is going and how quickly it's yeah, going. Me too. Like it's not a pretty one, but that's gonna get ground down so I can make it look nice. Just want to, don't want to lose that gap there. I didn't have these flares on it, but be flush with the body. That looks good. Are the flares new? Yeah. Nice. Cover up the rust. Oh. A little bitey man secret right there. <laughs> well, the end cap is uh, it's in place. And uh, it looks good. So, just remember, these are just tack welds right now. They'll be uh, ground down and you'll never know that they were ever there, so. We're getting ready to repeat the procedure on the other side, so I'm not going to record that because you guys just saw it. Boy, that fucked somebody stay up when I hit them with it. <laughs> As you can see, this, this is a bumper. And, uh, Jeff, how long did it take to get to this this point? Ooh, we've been at it about an hour, maybe? All right, so, an hour, and that was just with Jeff taking his sweet time, just measuring, making sure everything was right with the gaps and centered and leveled. You know, Move definitely did a great job at cutting these, and they're precision cuts, like, just... Yeah, it just fits right together, and you just tack it in place. I was amazed. Man, this is already just changed like the appearance of this truck. Like this truck looks so aggressive right now. <laughs> so aggressive. We ran into a slight technical difficulty. Um, it tells you you have the option of removing the bumper and then welding it off of the car. Um, so we were in the process, we unbolted it the brackets and we were unable to remove the bumper because of how the brackets built on the frame for this particular truck so you may not have this issue with your truck um, but if you have a Dodge Ram prepare yourself if you don't want to weld on the truck so what Jeff is gonna do is he's gonna cut the bracket from the back there so we can remove it from the truck hold the bumper up just to it there you go he's so gonna fall Alright guys, 
so just kept it running the whole time so you guys got a nice view of the sky Jeff made a nice little cut right there on the back of that uh, bracket so here these pieces are and they will get welded on later but now the bumper is off of the truck it's on the welding table and now uh, Jeff could work on what I don't know what what what's the opposite of a tack weld Solid weld. A solid weld, okay? Make it all solid, fill it all in. We right. gotta fill in where we weld it together, gotta smooth it out. We're gonna fill this too, make it look nice. All right, so when this is all said and done, this is gonna look like one piece of metal, like it came this way. Um, so yeah, like Joe just said, fill in the seams, grind them down, make them all smooth. Uh, we'll get the, the inside of the bumper, get those parts watered on as well. But look guys, the door's closed. We're gonna get us a little heat. I'm excited. All right, the bumper's on the table. What's happening next, Jeff? Make it solid, weld it up. Jeff, where's your other uh, welding helmet so I can keep my sight? I don't wanna Ray Charles it just yet. Ah, all right, Pull it good directly. I haven't used it yet. Oh, Lord. All I want to do is drive cars, and Jeff is going to take that away from me, guys. <laughs> All I want to do is, is race my cars. I'm about to get a, a, a walking stick on the front of my car, so. Right Stickers, Stickers might be there for protection. <laughs> I see the way he put that, pulled that knife out. Jeff's a real ninja. He's a fruit ninja. <laughs> Where should we weld first? Yes, sir. Alright guys, it is Alright, I'm with it, I'm back. <laughs> it is day two. You need a Starbucks one? <laughs> I need crack. Does crack wake you up? Speed. Crack. I need yeah, I think so. Speed crack. I need so I need an upper, not a downer. Yeah. Alright, so we're back. Um looks like Jeff, he was partying in the garage without me. Okay. All right, Jeff. So, what's the plan for today? What's going on? I think first off, I'm gonna run around this thing with a little bit of a grinder, clean up some of the slag from the flux core wire because it's very bad for that. Even though it welds fairly good for what it is. Um, and then 
We're going to test fit it on the truck, get some studs ready for our brackets for the sides. We're going to do that, take it back off, and finish grinding, clean it up, and get it ready for paint. Sweet. All right, well, guys, stay tuned, because we're here.